Now this first tactic that you can use is what I affectionately call the insurance digital billboard. Think about it like this. Traditionally on roads and freeways and highways, you would drive by, you would see billboards all the time. If you drove the same route to work every single day, you saw the same billboard for as long as that advertisement was up. This should be exactly the same strategy that you take and that you implement in your insurance agency. Essentially what we're gonna do, and we're gonna show it on the screen here, but we're gonna drop a pinpoint on the address of your, of your agency, the front door, and we're gonna run an ad that's within a radius uh, of whether it's five miles, 10 miles, 20 miles, however long you wanna make it. And that every time somebody goes on YouTube, they're seeing your video. They're seeing your commercial for your agency. Just like Geico does with brand awareness, they're just simply showing commercials just to get you to remember them. I want it. I can't believe it. That car brought his karaoke machine. No, I can't believe how easy it was to save hundreds of dollars on my car insurance with Geico. Go, Kevin. Go, Kevin. No, no. Uh, Believe it, GEICO could save you 15% or more on car insurance. This is essentially the same thing that we're going to be able to do, except it's not going to cost us millions of dollars. It's going to cost you one to two to three dollars a day. If you want to spend more, you certainly can, but this isn't something that's going to break your budget. This is something that's going to just play to a very broad audience and that's just going to get people to remember you. Remember your agency. Remember your value proposition. Remember how it's going to be. Down below in the description, I'm going to put a scripting framework that's going to help you kind of think about how you want to script this ad because everybody's going to be different. You could take the angle of being very community focused. You could take the angle of being very uh, cause focused. You know, so if you su if you support the veterans or if you support uh, a certain nonprofit, you can certainly take this same approach. It's going to help you whether you want to just speak to anybody and everybody who's between the ages of 18 and 65, you can do that. If they're thinking about insurance, if they're not thinking about insurance, they're going to think about it when they see your commercial and hear your digital billboard. So we're going to head over to the computer. I'm going to show you exactly how to set this up and why it would be really, really powerful for you to use. And you can do it for next to nothing. And we're going to get into this training right now. Okay, let's make our digital insurance billboard. Right now, I'm inside of one of the ad accounts that uh, we happen to actually manage for another client. Uh, and this is one where we've made an insurance digital billboard. I'm going to show you how to set it up. I'm going to show you what this example looks like so that you have an example to follow. But essentially, you're going to need to start inside of your Google Ads account. If you don't have a Google Ads account, you're going to want to create one by going to ads.google.com, ads.google.com, create your Google Ads account, link your billing, link your YouTube channel, and you'll be able to, uh, to run these ads. So within here, you're gonna, this is the dashboard. You're gonna click on campaigns. And before we do that, I'm actually going to show you one that we have running. This is one that's been running since the end of August, I want to say August 27th, 28th, uh, as I record this, it is November 17th, 2019. So it's been running for almost three months. We're going to call it 10 weeks instead of 12. We were running it for $5 a day. We're running it to an area that's roughly 15 to 20 miles of a radius. And there's probably no more than a couple hundred thousand people at the most in this in this count it's a county and in here we have uh, the impressions of 31,710 so YouTube or Google has shown this as a YouTube ad 31,710 times it's been viewed 12,294 times so what this means is is at least for for at least 30 seconds or more or when someone has clicked on the ad, it's happened 12,000, almost 12,300 times. And uh, that's a pretty good view rate. They've spent in the 10 weeks, they've spent uh, $423, so about $42 a week. And they've generated 150 clicks to their website. 150 clicks to their website. Their average cost per click is $2.82.
So just to put that into perspective, if you've ever ran ads on Google for insurance, you know that that's a very expensive term. That's a very expensive search uh, to generate. And your cost per click is, it's not uncommon for it to be over $50 a click. Here, they're getting it locally to their agency for $2.82. Uh, out of the people who have watched it, so out of the nearly 12,300, 42% have watched at least a quarter of it. 32% uh, have watched 50%, and you can kind of see this here. Uh, nearly a quarter of the people who have watched it have watched all of it. And so that's pretty good. And the video itself is, you know, it's not short by any stretch of the imagination. It is a, a minute and 34 seconds. So let's just go ahead and watch this video now. You beset are residents that are looking for a local insurance agency that treats them like family and not another transaction are pleasantly surprised to work with Oakview Insurance. We've helped thousands of local Yubaseta residents find peace of mind and work with an agency that they trust to handle all of their insurance needs. Our agency has been voted the best insurance agency in the Yubaseta area by the readers of the Appeal Democrat multiple times. And we're excited to have you experience the difference of working with Oakview Insurance. Perhaps you've seen us online or met us out at one of the local Yuba Sutter charity events. We know you have a lot of options when it comes to buying your insurance, but our clients say that one of the reasons that they love working with us is the local support that we give to our community. My name is Mariah Davis, and I am the founder of Oakview Insurance Services and a fifth generation Yuba Sutter resident. I invite you to experience the difference of working with Oakview Insurance. We're located at 1650 Sierra Avenue, right across from the Tractor Supply in Yuba City. We look forward to serving you and providing you with the best insurance policy at the best possible rate. So click on the button below to schedule a time with myself or one of my team members. We'll review your policy and make sure that you have the best policy possible. Click on the button now to schedule an appointment with us. Yuba Sutter residents deserve to have someone looking out for them and their community. Click the button now to schedule that appointment. And while we're here, I'm going to go ahead and show you the landing page that we're actually taking people to. It's simply a page for people to schedule an appointment. That's all it is. It's a local page on their website for people to schedule an in-office appointment. They are really harping on the fact that this is a local agency. We are local to the community. Uh, let's do an in-office appointment and discuss your insurance. So that that's it. when we talk about the amount of clicks, 150 clicks, so roughly 15 clicks a week of people clicking over to their website to schedule an appointment uh, for in-office. And they've done this for $423. Uh, put this in comparison to other advertising uh, mediums that could get really, really expensive really, really fast. And so they're doing this for a really inexpensive way and getting in front of a lot of people. So let's go ahead and create this campaign. We're going to go into our campaign section here. We're going to click on the blue circle with the plus, arrow, uh, plus symbol. We're going to click new campaign. And it's going to bring us to something that looks sort of like this. We're going to have objectives for our, for our ad, sales, leads, website traffic, product branding consideration, brand awareness, app promotion. Here is my strong suggestion. You can do a number of these, but where I'm going to suggest that you go is product branding consideration. We want people to consider our brand, consider uh, our product, whatever it is. We want people to see us, and we want to encourage people to explore more about us. So I'm going to click on that. It's going to automatically bring up video, which... When we select video, Google knows that this is a YouTube video. This is an ad for YouTube. And we're going to leave this at the default of influence consideration. We're going to hit continue. And I'm just going to scroll up and down here pretty fast just so you can see that's not that much stuff here, but here's what we're doing. And we're going to go through each field on this. We're going to name it. We're, for the sake of it, we're just going to name this insurance billboard well, it helps if i look at my screen while i type so let's do that again insurance billboard okay and it usually will default here to campaign total i want you to do daily set this as a daily budget if it's already at daily that's great and let's go ahead and just say five dollars a day and that's how much money we're saying google we're going to give you up to five dollars a day to distribute 
our billboard to people on YouTube. And we're going to go back down to networks. We're going to unselect YouTube search results and we're just going to leave it at YouTube videos and video partners on the display network. This is essentially when people go to any website that is connected to Google or is a Google partner uh, and the video will show on that website. It can get a little annoying. Again, this is the idea that we're trying to disrupt people and just make them really familiar with who we are. For languages, I'm going to specify a language. If, you're at, if you want to specify another language, say Spanish or Italian or anything else, just make sure your ad is shot in that language. For locations, I'm going to show you a couple different ways to do your location. We can either do our zip code. And I'm just going to go here. I'm going to do the T. I like the Nielsen DMA regions. This is essentially the TV market. Uh, so for TV ratings where they capture the entire market. So it could be Phoenix and all the surrounding bedroom communities. Think about it for an easy way to, uh, rule of thumb. If you get that station or that city's news, you're in that TV market. So just think about it like that. Uh, that's one way of doing it. I'm going to go to unselect it here. I'm going to go to advanced search. I'm going to go to radius. And you could simply just put in an address. And you can do, uh, you know, miles or kilometers. And you can do 20 miles as the default. I'm going to go ahead and just say 10. And I'm doing 10 miles of a, of a radius of this address. So if this is your agency address, just plop that right there as a pin and do the entire radius. But... For this suggestion, I'm just going to go back to the first one that I had, and I'm just going to do the zip code with the TV market if it's available. Inventory type, I'm going to leave this alone. Excluded content, I'm going to leave this alone. I am going to come down here to excluded types and labels, and I'm going to exclude my ad from showing on any embedded videos of someone's website or live streaming videos. I am going to click on this little hidden link here that says additional settings, which gives me these four options. I'm going to select my devices if I want to. Because this is a billboard, I'm okay with just having it just show the impressions on everything. Uh, so I'm not going to specify. I'm going to leave it on desktop and mobile. If I wanted to set it on, on something specific, I could do that here. Frequency capping. Now, this is where a lot of people waste a lot of money. Now, Google will not charge you for a view if that view impression uh, lasts less than 30 seconds or they never click. So if someone skips the video, that's just an impression. You're not charged for that. A view is somebody who watches 30 seconds or more or clicks to go to the website. So I never want to cap impressions. Impressions are free. If you're going to skip it, I'm going to keep showing it to you every day as often as I can. But I do want to cap views. So I don't want to go with a very low number for this, but I do want to cap it. So if someone watches it at least four times per month, they're not shown the ad again, meaning if they watch this 30 seconds or more or click to it four times in one month, then I want Google to find somebody new. I could set an ad schedule, but I'm not going to because I don't recommend it. I'm going to set my ad group name here. This is where we're going to set our targeting. And for the sake of, uh, for the sake of example, I'm just going to leave this as is, but you could give this your own specific name. And here's where we have our different targeting options. I have demographics, audiences, keywords, topics, and placements. Because this is very broad, I'm simply going to select the demographics and I'm going to leave it pretty wide open, although I might unselect this and I might unselect this. This is completely subjective to your agency and whatever it is that you want to target for an age range. I'm going to leave the rest of it alone. I'm going to not do keywords. I'm not going to do audiences. I'm not going to do topics. I'm just doing a very broad targeting. I'm just trying to distribute this as often as I can to as many people as I can in that age range. For bidding, this is where I'm going to tell Google how much I want to spend per view or what my bid per view on a video is. And um, I don't have to get crazy with it. I could I could just do something like zero six cents. And I'm going to go ahead and grab a YouTube video here. Okay, now that I have my video, I'm going to go ahead and hit, uh, I'm going to paste that in there. I'm going to select skippable in-stream ad. And from here, once I do that, off to the right, it's going to tell me what, based on my bid, what it thinks I can do. It's going to tell me that my average cost per view is going to be anywhere from two cents to four cents. And this is what I can expect based on Google's really strong guess on how many views I'm going to get, how many impressions I'm going to get in a week. This is pretty strong. I could 
toggle this around a little bit and see if I get better. So right now we have 3,300. Let's just see what happens when we do eight cents. That goes down. Let's go. Uh, let's go down to four cents. It went up. Let's just for the sake of it go down again. It goes up even more. So I'm gonna just leave this here at three cents. Although I actually will want to because I know I might be competing with more advertisers. Let me just go to four cents. And then here I'm gonna do my call to action, and we can do anything that we want. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do. I'm just gonna do that. Obviously, this would be your landing page. Uh, on your display URL, just make sure that you don't do any sort of redirects or anything funky with your URL. Don't give it a vanity URL. Just make it the real URL, and you can delete anything after the .com. I am going to select Call to Action, and this is going to bring up the ability for someone to click on it and go to my website. I want to tell them to start here and get insurance you have 10 characters here and you have 15 characters here so you really can't do a whole lot uh, so I could do uh, shop local since this is a local ad and then I would create my campaign so just to review we have this digital billboard that's gonna run on mobile and desktop and it's just gonna show to everybody in that certain age range and uh, over time they're gonna do that. Now you could accelerate the distribution of this ad by doing more of a daily budget if you want to. So instead of doing five dollars, I could do 10, 15, 25, 50. I can really start to saturate the market. The idea behind this is not that you're gonna generate a ton of leads. The idea behind a digital billboard is that you're going to enhance the conversations you're already having. When you're at the grocery store, in line at Starbucks, picking up your dry cleaning, dropping your kids off for school, you want people to recognize you. You want them to say, I recognize you from YouTube. I see your ad all the time. And that's going to open up conversations for you. It's going to open up conversations for you when people are shopping for insurance and they're comparing you with the next carrier or the next company. And you just want them to choose you because they recognize you, because they feel like they like, know, and trust you. This is purely a saturation play. This is purely uh, meant to drive attention to you, to enhance the conversations you currently have. It's not meant to drive in a large amount of leads. So don't, uh, don't start this thinking that people are lining out of your door and the, the phone is ringing off the hook and your inbox is filling up. That's not what it's about. It's to make your job easier everywhere else. So I hope this ad on a, a digital billboard is something that you implement. If you have any questions, please leave them in the, in the comments below. I'd love to see how we can help you, and we'll see you on the next training video.